Well, we're at BBC at the Quay, which is on the south of the River Clyde at Pacific Quay. You wander around here and look who you bump into, some old friends. It's Tommy and Neil from Wet Wet Wet. Gentlemen, first of all, what are you doing here? Dougie, um, we got uh, invited to come along and play. I think the sport is the focus, I think, you know, Glasgow and the sport, but the music, the entertainment thing, we has a part to play. So we're just playing a tiny little part. We just feel kind of privileged to get on a stage in front of some of the, some of the people and play some of those songs. The cultural festival is clearly a big part of this, Neil, as Tommy says, but um, being part of the, the Commonwealth Games itself is such a, a big deal from the city you guys are pretty much from. Yeah, I mean, it's great for Glasgow and obviously the whole of Scotland and it's nice to see all the athletes down really well here, you know, and we've managed to catch some of it because we're actually, we've been down in England sort of touring, doing some race courses, so it's been quite hard to catch some of it, but the bits that we have caught has it's been really exciting and brilliant, you know, so I've really enjoyed it. Tommy, you're the drummer, so you're clearly the most emotional guy in the whole, the yeah, whole of the band. You know, you, you've, you've got a heart, and you've been watching some of this coverage. And uh, what's making you, for want of a better word, greet? <laughs> a, a tear got brought to my eye. Not in a sad way. The other day, I was watching the, the two sisters who done the judo, and, and they, they were on TV to do an interview, and I've never seen happiness like it. You know, it was just thing with this kind of youth naivety and the fact that they, they succeeded. You know, all, all, you, you think about again being a musician. You spend three or four years preparing to try and get your songs out there. These people have dedicated themselves for 10, 15 years for one gig, you know, to get for this one stage to get onto and then see them have that success. It just, I, really, I was sitting there in a hotel room down south with a wee tear running down my going, oh, Glasgow, I wish I was there. <laughs> and you are here, the Rennick sisters, they were called. What was the Scottish singer, uh, Scottish swimmer called? The, the young boy that won? Uh, Ross Murdoch, who beat um, uh, Jameson. It was amazing when we seen him when he was up and getting his medal and the Flower of Scotland was playing, he was kind of, you know, bubbling up. That, that, that was a great moment yeah. for me. The thing about that, it was his granddad's 70th birthday yeah, as well. Sweet. Yeah, it was his birthday as well. It was just all came, came through for him, didn't it? That was great. We're sitting here and it's, you know, broad Glaswegian accents. I just want to do a wee focus on the, the other nations that are here as well. I have been following some of that Australia out the box flying. England, you know, they're doing OK as well, and ourselves could bring up the third, but I'm looking at all the other nations as well. Yeah. And uh, that's a, I think that the one thing I'm looking forward to is the boxing when it starts, I'm looking forward to that. You know, maybe it's the aggression, whatever it is, there's a certain excitement, it comes towards the end of the games and there's guys going to get up in that ring and knock seven bells out of each other, and I like that side of it. <laughs> Absolutely. So a quick plug for what you're doing here tonight. Yeah, we're here at the BBC Key. Uh, we're, we're on at um, 8 o'clock, and we're going to do an hour and a half set, so hopefully people can come along and enjoy as playing live. Yeah, we'll do our little bit thing, but it's all about the athletes. It's all about Scotland just now. Actually, okay. I'm not sure if there's any tickets, to be honest, so maybe you shouldn't come. <laughs> <laughs> all right, OK. Well, I can imagine they'll be playing pretty loud, so if you're close to BBC in the Key, you're certainly going to hear them. In fact, you're going to hear them over on the, uh, the north side of the river as well, and even in Clydebank, where these guys are originally from. So it's great to speak to Tommy and Neil from Wet Wet Wet. But let's get back now to live sporting action here at uh, BBC Three. And uh, over at Toll Cross, Helen Skelton's there with the swimming team. We love you, Doogie. 